Behind me is a Swarovski. 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 Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Swarovski. So Ksenia didn't grab the ticket. She grabbed the receipt that she already paid for. So we're having to walk past this guy's face again. You go get the tickets. As somebody left. Run. Run. You got me. Tripping all over my shoes, yeah, I'm falling for you. Ain't nobody like you. Swarovski. Yes. Oh, is that it? Yep, Swarovski. Ain't nobody like you. You got some presents? You're a happy dog, huh? I am a happy, happy dog. dog. So, we're finished up here at the Swarovskis. Swarovski. Swarovski. Nope. Museum. And now next stop is going to be back on track to Salzburg. First place kissing we're going to... Kissing per minute. Oh, kissing per minute, huh? Magic moments, huh? Mwah. Now to Salzburg. You know where we're at? It's Autobahn. Floor it. No, 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 don't floor it. Okay, floor it. I'm going to get started here. All right, let's see what we can do. That means we're Autobahn speed right now, boys. Hey, girls. kilometers, not that fast. At least we got to get in the Autobahn before we got back into Austria. Wow, that was that was kind of fun. But we tapped out at 180 kilometers on the Autobahn, so we got to stop at the Red Bull Hangar 7 to go ahead and pick out a new ride. We, weren't, we were not supposed to take videos or photos. I snuck a few to Red Bull Museum here in Salzburg where Red Bull originated from. Tons of planes, tons of Formula One cars, motorcycles, different trophies over the years, so it's really cool to see. We are at the Mozart's birthplace. How cool! We made it to Salzburg and we're about to go to that castle right there. Before we get to the castle, where, what are we about to eat? Some beef tartare. No, say it right. No, I can't. Say it. Ta-da! We just love the Triangle restaurant. It's actually positioned right between the Salzburg Cathedral and Mozart's birthplace. Great place to eat at. Um, we had steak tartare, goulage, soup, everything. We left with a full stomach. Now we have enough energy to go ahead and finish off Salzburg before we head to the next town. Babe, right behind us is the whole entire Salzburg. What do you think from up here? Wow. Wow. So we just finished exploring the Hohen Salzburg Fortress. Amazing. It's pretty impressive to think how this was built back in like a thousand years ago and all the things that happened at this place. And all the people that died. Don't give me any ideas, Ksenia, behind the camera. So we're going to finish up here. It's only like 4.30, but it's already getting dark. So we're about to hop in the car and go to Lake Wolfgangsee. And we're going to go see the little Christmas market. And apparently they have the biggest lantern over the lake. So we're, we're going to go check that out next. So let's go get the car and let's get out of here. started our morning off in the beautiful historic town of Halsat. It was really feeling like we walked in a time machine and turned back time when we were walking through the town. It's really beautiful and it was a little bit smaller than what I expected. You can walk through the whole entire town in about 10 to 15 minutes. But first things first, we're going to enjoy some coffee on our nice little balcony out the back of this historic, kind of kind of creepy uh, Airbnb. And then uh, we're going to grab some breakfast and head to Vienna. But 
I have to say, also, it is a very eerie place, very quiet. It's, I mean, we even heard the drone from very far away, which typically you'll hear the drone at first when you fly it up, but besides that, it's you don't really hear it much often after that. Where are we at? State Opera House! Are you drinking Starbucks? No. <laughs> so what are we doing right now? Walking uh, in Old Town in Vienna. This is the second time someone's asked me if I have a YouTube channel. And then Ksenia's just like, no, 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 like, what are you talking about? Yes, I have a YouTube channel. And then, like, they actually go to the YouTube channel on their phone. We, so I subscribe. I've already gained, like, two subscribers today just carrying around this big-ass camera. Wow. Wow. And you want to sit here and act like wow. I don't have a YouTube channel. Wow. I don't know how this is going to work. <laughs> 102 subscribers. We're at 107 now, thank Seven? you. Seven? Yes, yes. Did you just subscribe them? Yeah, I subscribed <laughs> them right now. So. Speakeasy season two. Huh. We're looking for the speakeasy called Crips in the downtown Vienna. They actually found this and it was actually a real speakeasy at one point. When they were remodeling the building, they actually recreated it back into a speakeasy. But the thing is, we're at the right address, we just gotta find the entrance. So after spending about 15 minutes walking the courtyard, walking down some stair steps, looking for music, looking for any entrance to the speakeasies, I figured it'd be a challenge. It's literally right here. And it was down the alleyway. So that begs the question, is it a true speakeasy or not? Not anymore, in my opinion, but at one point it was. So, if you want to get my final rating on the crypt, even though it's not a really a true speakeasy, because it was actually very easy to find, this you gotta admit, the atmosphere is amazing. It's really cool, you actually feel like you're down in a crypt underneath the ground. And looks so like they have a very good drink menu, but to be honest with you, after we had the wedding at Ice Cube. We're not in the big mood to have any mixed drinks at this time, so we're gonna stick with one beer and call it a night. But just coming down here to explore the crypt, it was definitely worth the trip. So, double thumbs up for me. If I could give it a score, I, for the atmosphere alone, I would say eight out of 10. But if there was more of a secret to get inside here, I, I would give it a 10 out of 10. So, and I don't know what the mixed drinks are like, quality like, but they look pretty good, so. So day number two in Vienna. It's raining outside, but we walked three miles through the rain Cool big city experience without driving, you gotta walk through all the rain. And today we're gonna go to the Schlon Brunn Towers. Don't need to leave it. Different path that chosen, I don't think they see it. Life in a trailer. So after finishing off the last night in Vienna, we say our final goodbyes to Austria to end preparation for our next stop. Turks and Caicos, which you'll see the video coming up soon. So please like this video, subscribe for more, and if you have any questions about getting married in Ice Cube, Solden, Vienna, Salzburg, every place we stopped at, put below in the comments, and we will see you guys in the next one in Turks and Caicos. I've been